Hi everyone, I am Sai Krishna, an experienced full stack developer from India. I'll be the instructor for this project. In this project, we aim to guide intermediate developers in creating dynamic movie recommendation app using Next.js. This project will walk you through um, setting up a new Next.js project, retrieving data from external APIs and implementing user-friendly features such as search bar and uh, sorting uh, movies by some filter. Uh, so the final product will be an engaging application where user can uh, have some preferences and they can uh, get uh, movies based on the preferences and they can get some recommendations for a particular movie and so on. So by the end, you will have uh, broadened your pro proficiency in creating uh, feature rich applications using Next.js. Let's get ready uh, into the world of dynamic web application development. So let's get started or apply it. Fail to download, enter. I think there is some network issue. Yeah, uh, it will be back. So it's fine. So yeah, we have bootstrap styling and let's check out the layout component first. So these are the main files. So whatever that's present inside the app folder, we will be working with them and rest of them. We don't have to uh, work on them. We don't have to touch them uh, for this project. So let's check out the app project. Uh, sorry, app folder. So inside that we have favicon.ico. So if you replace this file with some other icon file, then you will get your own logo over here. And then we have globals.css, which will be applied uh, over the whole page. So if you want to add some custom CSS, you can add it here. And then we have layout.js, which will be, which is the main layout. Suppose if I just change the title here, suppose I just give it like, If uh, some styling gets mixed, missed, uh, you know, uh, they can be added uh, using these classes. So that's it for the card component. Uh, and let's add some padding over here. This is looking very odd. So let's go to page and here, um, just putting it inside container first. It is right. And then I will just give some margin y as three. And okay, if I keep it in home page, yeah, this is good. Uh, but this is actually taking a lot of space. Uh, I'm not sure like why the card is not coming. I think uh, the gap, if we reduce it. So in conclusion, throughout this tutorial uh, project, in conclusion, through this project we have taken an exciting journey into the depths of web application development using Next.js. so we have uh, built a dynamic uh, and feature rich movie recommendation application uh, which not only enhances user interaction through customized content but also showcases the powerful capabilities yeah, voila. so that's it for the project i hope all of you uh, enjoyed uh, this tutorial so uh, so that's it for the project. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching.